I sort of feel sorry for the young kids today. They live in a, a surveillance state. Everybody's spying on you. From government entities to private entities and all this new technology. I mean, nobody has any privacy. Well, maybe a, a few, a very few tiny people have a little bit of privacy because they know how the, the world works. Today we're going to be looking at some beautiful yachts. So back to the young kids. I mean, if you've never lived in a world where nobody's spying on you, well, you would not know that you would not know the difference. So you ever get that feeling that you're being followed? Yeah, well, you know, they call us all paranoid. All of us old-fashioned Americans, conservatives. I mean, they call us paranoid and schizo. I mean, they, they think that there's something wrong with us because we can feel, we can feel their eyes upon us. We know when we're being followed. And yes, that's the feeling I got when I was in California looking over the, see, when, when you're in their territory, they get nervous. Seriously. They, they watch us all the time. That's kind of what we're going to be talking about today, especially if you're somebody like me who's out there on social media and I tell people my opinions. And yes, my opinions are very strong. And they, they, they don't like it. They, they want you to go to work, that little job you have. Keep your mouth shut, clock in, clock out. But basically, keep that big trap shut and just do as you're told. So anyhow, California is like their playground. And when an outsider like myself is on a recon mission in their theater, well, you can bet the farm I was followed, monitored, tagged with smart dust, and tracked by NSO Group Technology. That sounds familiar, isn't it? NSO Group Technology. Apparently, they tracked Khashoggi. We're not going to talk about that. And all this intel was used to help some ex-veterans working for XYZ Security to watch my every move. I can imagine these young American ex-military guys on the ground following me at a distance, you know, way, way back, and they, they got their technology and everything, and they're thinking, why in the hell are we wasting our time following this guy? All he has is a camera. Yes, that's all he has, a camera, the Nikon P1000 007 spy camera. Well, this might be a good time to take a quick break to thank our wonderful, amazing sponsor for without his immense and generous contribution, this amazing video would not be possible. Here, here, Bravo Vamula! Okay, back to our main conversation today. What are we really talking about today? We're talking about surveillance, the border wall, the electronic border wall, and how the 666 gang will flee the country. I mean, everyone knows that this trend to secure the border with the 666 gang electronic security software and hardware. I mean, what, what, what they're really building is an electronic border wall. And Donald Trump's job is to sell it to you. We all know where this uh, technology is coming from. And I can tell you, it's not coming from America. The military will be used in high-profile areas as a deterrent. and they. But here's the thing. The 666 gang knows that this system that we live in is getting long in the tooth. And all they have to do with a little push, just a little tiny shove, they can push this corrupt system over the edge at any time they want. So you got to understand, they can do it any time. They're just waiting for the right time. Of course, that time is when the electronic border wall is complete on the border. So it will be very difficult for anybody to get in or out. Okay, well, just a little, just not to change the subject, but look at this um, crest here. I'm not really sure. I haven't done any research on this crest. Now, apparently this super yacht here, the owner has a Gentile last name, and but he's a, he's a billionaire. Now, obviously, if he's a billionaire, he's involved with the gang somehow. He has surveillance all over. This is a beautiful super yacht. Uh, anyhow, let's get back on subject. When they push us over the edge, they're going to want that sur electronic surveillance 
uh, border wall in place. They're going to want to be able to ha be confident that they can ring off the big cities. You see, when when the shit hits the fan and the chaos ensues, they're gonna, most of it's going to be in the big cities. They're going to ring off that city, you know, with the National Guard, military, and all that stuff. Think of the collapse that's coming as an engineered virus. But every virus has an antidote. Yes, and the 666 gang has more than one antidote. And you're looking at one of the antidotes. I mean, you're not going to want to be in the big cities when the shit hits the fan. No, you and I are not going to be able to get in and out easily. But oh, how sweet it is to have wealth, privilege, and power. So of course, the super yachts will be used to get the 666 gang, their friends, and any paying customer in and out of the country in luxury and style.